Hello and welcome to episode 25 of the Breaking Yarn podcast and the first episode to air in 2022. So happy new year. My name is McKaylee. I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and this is my podcast where I talk about my knitting, my crocheting, and my yarn dyeing. You can find me online at breakingyarn.com and anywhere on social media at Breaking Yarn. Today I have one finished object. I have three whips. One of them is brand new that you have not seen yet before. I have um, a new pattern and colorway coming out next week and I'll talk about that. Um, I have a few acquisitions, things I've gotten over Christmas that are knitting related and I thought I would share with you. And then also I have a new make along to announce that I am co-hosting. So let me, um, I'll tell you about that in a little bit. The first, so my only finished object are these socks. These are the second breakfast socks by um, Lindsay of Sock Witchery. And they're just a knit and pearl texture around the entire leg and then around the top of the foot. And the colorway that I used for this is by Pearling Perry, the Pearling Perry. And the colorway is called Foggy Mountain. And it has a lot of grays and blues, or not blues, greens, <laughs> sorry. Um, I did make a few alterations to this pattern as well. I did a knit two, purl two for the ribbing. Um, and I also did an eye of the partridge heeled heel flap instead of a slip stitch heel flap. Um, let's see, I don't think I made any other alterations, but those are my finished socks. And I, my goal was to get those done before Christmas and I, um, met and exceeded that goal by a few days because I wanted to be done with these socks before the start of one of my whips, which I'll get into next. This whip is in a project bag by Danielle of Midwest Stitches. She so sweetly sent that to me. And this is housing my Zebra Yarn Advent from Zebra Yarns, Anna of Zebra Yarns. So, this is where I am. I'm knitting socks two at a time on individual nine inch circulars. My Chowku, I actually, these are fixed. I got these from my local yarn store, the yarn store in Knob Hill. Um, I picked these up because I wanted to make sure I had enough needles. Um, and one of my Chowku interchangeables, the cables actually broke. Um, I've never had that happen. So I decided just to pick up a few fixed for this um, knit along. And this is what my sock progress is. I am currently, as I'm filming this, two days behind. I just finished my heels and literally picking up the gusset um, decreases and everything, or gusset, all the gusset stitches, I should say. Um, so, I started like this, right? Um, I did a twisted rib, and then it's one stripe a day. So day one was the cuff and the screen, and then day two, day three, day four, day five was this one and the heel. And so now it's day seven, and I have two stripes to put in. One is this purpley color. Um, but the pattern I'm using for this is called the Twizzler Socks, or just Twizzler Socks by, um, she's at Tangled Becca um, on Instagram. And it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it is only a pattern in the size medium, so for 64 stitches, but um, you can easily add stitches and figure out the math for because it's just a four stitch repeat, so you can easily convert it to a larger size if you're interested in the sock pattern. So that's where I am. I have both of the heels done. 
Um, I did the slip stitch heel with the heel turn and then I literally just picked up my gusset stitches and I have not even done one round of gusset decreases yet. Um, so that's where I am on the make along, the knit along. It's um, hosted by Anna of Zebra Yarns. It's a 12 stripe advent. These are my skeins. Um, I'm doing center pull right now. And Anna so sweetly wound them up for us so we didn't even have to wind yarn on Christmas Day, which was really nice. Um, and the make along goes, I think, until January, January 12th. I don't know if that's right. I'll put it down here on the screen if it's wrong. Um, but you just enter by using, if you're using this advent. 12 stripe skeins, you just enter on Instagram by using the hashtag Zebra Yarns Advent 2021. Yep. And then um, you'll be entered to win prizes from Anna. So that's whip number one. My second whip um, is one you've seen before, but I did make a decent amount of progress on it. This is my mystery yarn um, muscle burrow hat from Isolde Teague is the pattern. Um, and this is a mystery yarn because my coworker gave it to me from Peru and I'm not sure what the fiber content is. It does feel very soft though and I think it might be like a wool, like a wool mix of something, of some sort. Um, I'm wondering if it has like mohair or like cashmere or something in it too. I'm not sure, but it's very nice and fun to work with. There's my progress keeper from last time. So I made quite a bit of progress there, about five inches or so. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'm using my Chowgu Red Lace Interchangeable set. And these are on a 16 inch um, setup. So the, the um, needles are both four inches and then the um, cable is eight inches. So it makes 16 inches in the round and you can just knit, 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 knit. And you don't have to worry about fussing with your needles too much, which is what I prefer to do, which is why I like nine inch circulars instead of magic loop or another technique, DPNs, etc. So there's that, it's this gorgeous blue color. I don't know, it doesn't look hand dyed. I talked about this last episode, but I think it looks factory dyed because it's so perfect. So there's what I have left. It is 114 grams. Um, so I definitely will have yarn left over from after um, knitting this hat. And this is being housed in my little Robin Cottage ski bag, which is so cute. I will link any shop I talk about down in the description below. The last whip that I have is my Honey I Shrunk the Stash shawl. I am kind of doing a scrappy project of this. Um, it is a single color brioche pattern and the only thing you need to know is how to increase, which is super nice. Um, and obviously how to knit brioche. Um, just the brioche knit um, stitch though, not even a brioche pearl, which is nice on single color brioche. So this would be a perfect project if you want to learn how to do brioche and tackle your first project. Um, this would be perfect for that. This is a pattern by Leslie of Knit Graffiti. And I am, like I said, using up scraps. I'm just alternating colors as often or as not as often as I feel. Um, you can see all my lovely ends here. <laughs> uh, I'll probably take some time here in the middle and weave some in so that they're not like hanging forever and ever, but they don't bother me. So that's that last time I was here. This is a little stitch marker by um, Nitty by Nature, I think. Nitty by Nature. And then I've done just a little bit since then, but as it gets longer, the rows take longer. 
um, and then it looks like I've made less progress. So, um, yes, and I'm using tons of scraps from all different projects that I've been knitting and I'm keeping them all in this big huge tote bag by Will of Sparker Yarn Co. So that's that whip. Now I have a few acquisitions. The first one you may have noticed is the shirt. Knitting is a work of love, heart. Um, my friend Vanessa designed and made this for me for my birthday. So I thought that was cute and I thought I would share it. I also got this yarn knitted wit by Victory in uh, Victory DK skein. This is called Steady Haul. This is 100% superwash merino. And it, um, I don't know if it came with this or if my friend just added these, but they're little stitch markers as well. Oh, those are so cute. And then I got this, my first time getting some yarn from Sock Obsession Yarns. And this is the colorway Sweet Nothings, dark it says. Isn't that pretty? With all the purples and blues and pinks. Mm. Love it. Then I also got this cute little pair of scissors. And it looks like a little road runner which I love because the Roadrunner is our state bird. And I don't know if that was intentional, <laughs> but I thought those were so cute. Little scissors to keep in a project bag. Then I also got this shirt. This one has the knitting heartbeat on it and a gray heathered shirt. I'm not sure where it's from, so sorry. Um, but it's so cute. And then I got a couple of books. So the first one is the Seamless Knit Sweaters in Two Weeks. This is by Marie Green, founder of Olive Knits, it says. Isn't that, oh look, it almost looks like I can be here, hold on. Ah, if I can figure out the <laughs> there you go <laughs> just kidding I'm being silly okay but there's tons of like cool sweater patterns in here um, even some cardigans and stuff too so I'm excited to look through this and dig in and see if something inspires me but yeah I'll look at that later <laughs> and then I also got this book 400 knitting stitches so more stitch dictionaries this one is by potter craft and i'll link these down below as well um these ones are really they're really good and the pictures are all easy to see and easy to follow um stitch dictionaries are awesome for inspiration um but they don't make designing easy. Um, I kind of had this in my mind that, oh, if I just had some stitch dictionaries, it'll be so easy. It's not. Most of the time, the stitch um, dictionaries are for flat knitting. Um, and if you're knitting anything in the round, you have to make adjustments and changes. Um, so it doesn't make it easy, I'm just saying. And it doesn't always work out the way that you anticipate it to work out. But I got this other one, 750 Knit Stitches, the Ultimate Knit Stitch Bible. And this one is by St. Martin's Griffin, I guess. I think. <laughs> I'm like, who is this by? I don't know. I just see Stitch Dictionaries and I'm like, yeah. Knitting Stitches, 700, oh yeah, that's the name of the book. St. Martin's Griffin, New York, I don't know. I'll link this down below too on Amazon. But, so those are fun um, acquisitions that I got for Christmas and my birthday, like this one was birthday. Um, and I think the rest were Christmas, so. 
that's fun. Um, I do have a new pattern coming out on the 7th, on January 7th. This is my Skylar white sock pattern. And also the colorway Skylar white will also be in the shop the same day. It comes out on Friday, the 7th. So I'm really excited for those. Um, I designed these after Skylar White's bracelets that she always wears in the show. Um, they're called Liquid Metal by Sergio Gutierrez. And um, I designed the um, texture to mimic the um, bracelets that she always wore. And of course, this is her colorway. Blue means loyal. And she was often seen wearing blue. And, um, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but she's often seen wearing blue. And this has a knit to pearl to cuff. And then this pearl ridge goes all the way from the cuff all the way down the length of the foot, the leg and the foot. Um, and then you can choose in the pattern whether or not to have this um, pearl ridge go into the toe or not. I have directions for both the rounded toe and um, the ones with the pearls. Oops, I have a hair on there. So I took some finished object photos. But yeah, so you have the option um, for either of those. I did a eye of the um, partridge heel flap which I think just looks so nice in this yarn too. It's like such a beautiful texture um, and it looks really nice in this yarn. So those will be coming out. The yarn will be coming out next week or when you see this on Friday. Um, so that's really excited, exciting, I should say. Um, the last thing I have Oh no, I did a vlog for the Fuzzy Whatnots advent. Last episode I opened day six, I believe, on the podcast, but that entire um, vlog has come out and I will link it up in the corner of this video, but also down in the description box so that you can have it in both places. Um, I opened the advent every day from December, 13th? December 13th to December 25th where I opened my main skein and all three patterns that came with the advent also came out on Christmas Day so I included little looks at that. I plan on making the knit pattern with my set um, so go check out that um, video if you want to see all the yarn from the Fuzzy Whatnots advent for 2021. It was so fun. I am also in the middle of filming an advent um, vlog for the um, zebra yarns advent as well. Just um, some clips of me knitting every day and um, seeing what the new color is and showing you what the new color is. So I hope you enjoy those types of videos. If you do, please let me know um, by giving a like or a subscribe or a comment down on the video of those vlogs to let me know that you like them. Or if you don't like them, you can still comment and let me know that. Um, the last thing I have is to announce a make along that I am co-hosting with my friend Leah. She is Leah Loves to Knit on Instagram. She wanted to do a um, advent make along, excuse me, to encourage people to finish their advent projects. And um, we started talking and decided that it would be fun to co-host it. So we're both doing that um, together. It's called Adventually 2022. It will start on January 1st and run through March 31st, 2022. Um, it's any advent project. Um, it can be knitting, crocheting, division, whatever you want to do is fine. It doesn't even have to be 
an advent from this year, it can be an advent from a past year, it can be a whip, it can be anything that you need it to be to give you motivation to finish your advent projects. So I will be starting my Fuzzy Whatnots advent shawl. It's called Yulentide, I think. Yulentide? Um, pattern and it's by Jennifer Tipton. So that's what I'm going to do for mine. And Leah says she has a few advents that she's working on. So whips are welcomed. Um, but it'll be fun. Um, I think those are all the rules. Post on um, Instagram your finished objects. Um, hashtag adventually mal for make along 2022 and you will be entered to win some prizes. Um, Leah is picking up some fun yarn from a yarn store in Florida, um, and um, I will be giving away a $50 gift card to Breaking Yarn as a prize as well. So um, please join us. I hope you will join us for that make along. It'll be a lot of fun, and hopefully it gives you all of the motivation that you need to finish your advent projects. So um, that's that. It starts January 1st and runs till um, March 31st, 2021. I will also post details on Instagram as well as Leah will post details on Instagram. She's at Leah Loves to Knit. Um, and yeah, we'll have to see love to see your projects and your progress that you're making and eventually your adventurally <laughs> advent truly your finished objects so i hope you will join us for that a little bit of make along fun we are thinking it will be fun to do a like a knit knit time on like facetime or on zoom or something like that um, so if you're interested in that, let us know. We'll have to figure out schedule wise. Um, she has a few young kids and I have a young daughter as well. So we'll have to figure out, you know, if spouses can help or somebody else can help out, um, if we choose to do it during the day or, um, before bedtime. So that's that. Thank you so much for joining me today for episode 25 of the Breaking Yarn podcast. I appreciate you being here watching the videos. Please subscribe if you like to see more and we'll see you next time. Bye!